Hey, Fuzzy Goat family. Melissa here, Thomasville, Georgia, on this, if you can see, gray, another gray day, Tuesday. We've been having a lot of gray days, not a lot of rain, just gray. I'm tired of the gray. I need sunshine. I um, hope you all had a good week. I had a great week. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I have update on baby. My nephew's baby was born Saturday morning. His name is Theo, so I think they're going home today, which put, you know, the baby blanket on super drive. So, um, and I got to do those booties. Oh, I got to do those this weekend. Um, okay. <clears throat> what do I want to talk about? Oh, we had, and we had Victorian Christmas, which was super fun. Cindy, thank you for watching. And Teresa, y'all, I'm going to try to watch the comments. Let me know if the sound gets staticky, because I think we're having a problem with our mic. I have it on, um, but if it gets staticky, staticky, just, you know, flag me. Um, okay. So I'm going to start with my, uh, Shandy. Okay. The, I, last week I showed you, I'd finished the front and the back <clears throat> and I blocked it and let me show you. So I have, um, seen this, the front and back Did a ma mattress, um, there, if you can see it, maybe you can't and that's good. Um, so I've done the front and back, seamed it, and I picked up one side, uh, sleeve and the sleeves have some short rows in them. So it's going to be like a little cap there. So just half now I've done all the short row, which I really, I kind of like doing short rows. I, I like visually seeing what's happening there. Um, I did mess up, but I just kept going cause I didn't want to undo cause you can really mess yourself up undoing short rows. So I, so what they had you do is put a marker in the middle. And then you were doing short rows and you had markers over here and they told me to take out this marker so I don't get confused and I didn't and I got confused but I picked I realized it pretty quickly so I think I just did short one short row that wasn't where it was supposed to be and I just kept going so yeah so this is the shandy Let me show you the back see that pattern back there yeah so I've got to do the sleeves and I've got to do the the button band and I have to see how quickly those sleeves go I just have a lot of things I need to finish by Christmas. I don't have to finish that one. I'd like to. I don't have to finish it. So that's uh, Shandy by Baby Cocktails. Um, I'll put the links on underneath here. Baby Cocktails. Um, Thea Coleman is her name. All right. What's the next one I want to talk about? Okay, the Sunday scuff. I think I showed you. Y'all, this is a super fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's the one with the neat with the stuff on super fast project like I just can't and kind of addicting because you're just and I can kind of see the sock thing now because you're just kind of always doing something a little different so this is the finished one very busy yarn I know and then I've started the second this way I can kind of show you a little bit hey Marcia and Alice hello I can kind of show you the construction so I started with the back the heel flap I think they call it then when you finish that you picked up around the, the, the flap here and here and then you started this heel and you were just going um, back and forth until it measured um, three and a quarter inches I think it was so now did I do that yet no so now what I'm gonna do I think I've told you guys how I do it with two needles I don't think that's the right one here we go um, so I've just kind of just kind of show you there they are there are YouTube videos out there so it tells me the next thing I need to do is I'm gonna cast on the top right Can you see that I'm gonna do the booty out this way oh out this way right and I'm gonna cast on oh my goodness like the backwards cast on like you would do underneath a, a sleeve of a sweater 11 stitches Okay, for the top then then it wants you to transfer so what I'll do is those 11 plus 6 on either side I think it is 25 and then 26 on the bottom I'll put the 25 on the for the top of the slipper on one needle like on this needle let's just say okay and then the bottom of the slipper will be on this needle um, I think that's 26 stitches there so basically knitting in the round with two long circular needles which is my preference as of right now um, so yeah, so that's kind of, I should finish this. I might sit down and just finish it tonight because it is really fast. So once you finish the length of the, the toe, which can be adjusted, I'll pick up 
And I think what I might do for this one is use even, I think you use a two. I use a two. I think I might even use a one. We'll see how that goes. And then you're just kind of doing that in the round. So really fast, really cute. These are for my sister for Christmas. And I think um, I could probably do two pair if I wanted to because this is not, yeah, you know, I can probably do two pair. So it's kind of cool. Fun, a fun little um, gift idea. It's DK weight yarn. It's a holly jolly. I think we have a couple more skeins of it left. And we even have some with, I'm looking up there, sparkles. If that's your gig. Glitter. All right. Um, I also was able to pick up the heart again. Again. And this one, I have to, I, I do this. I, it bodes me well to stay with this pattern because I, once I sit down with it, I have to remember everything again. And when I'm on it, oh, 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 oh. When I'm on it, it goes much faster. So I have, I was able to finish the entire, I don't know, 40 plus row repeat. So I only have three more to go, <laughs> but um, I got in a groove with that. So I, I do need to maybe pick this up a little bit every day and it'll go faster. Cause it, like I said, every time I sit down, it's like, okay. And then you can see there's a lot going on. There's, you know, just a lot with the pattern going on. So I have to remember each stitch. Um, I keep knocking this off. Anyway, that's hard again, and this one is for a friend of mine. It's a fingering weight, and it's color 2-2, a very soft pink. All right. I'm guessing the sound is still okay. I haven't seen any comments. Okay. All right. Oh, what I want to show next. Um, the baby blanket. The baby blanket. The Theo blanket. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm, I'm chipping away. I've decided I'm more than halfway. Can y'all see it? Yeah, so, and I keep, there's, on a row I get my stitch, my stitches off. I don't know what's happening there. There's a lot of slip slipping going on, so I don't know if I'm creating, a, anyway. It's fine, I think the baby will think it's just fine. And this Harriet's watching. So I'm deciding, I've got, I'm into my third, third or fourth skein um, so I'm hoping on that side of the uh, curve there with the baby blanket it's called uh, Lear L L Y R it is a very sweet baby blanket thank you Marcia um, yeah all right baby blanket check what else I did get to work on my forest land um, my color work sweater, my forest land. What's going on here? Oh, I'm about done with the ball. So, oh, I don't know what that is. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, and so I did try it on using my goat tubing and my husband looked over. He's like, you're going to make that a little longer, aren't you? So yes, I, I do have probably have four more inches to go. So it's just knitting. So I like I just kind of sit and put a timer on and make myself sit there and do it. This would be nice to have a pollock too. So this is Feeder Brook. The color work is so pretty. Anyway, Forest Land by um, Jen Jennifer Steingass. So yeah, she's got some great pattern. Oh, <laughs> my skein went flying. I mean, my little ball went flying. All right. Um, that, so that's the Forest Land. Oh, and then I even got to work on the baby sweater, or the toddler sweater that, oh, that's doing in there. I was able to separate the sleeves. Oh, hold on. Looks kind of, kind of strange because of this holder I have them on. So I want to stretch that out a little bit. All right. Yeah, so I have, I think, last night I worked on this, and I probably, maybe not quite two inches there. So that's the arm, one of the armholes. Um, and I think I go to four inches, and then I do the little uh, stitch pattern they have, and then the ribbing. So that should go pretty quickly once I get down there. So yeah, and this is using a Pas Pasquale um, brush cotton. Okay, you can see the halo on it. It's really pretty. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, oh, the sweater that I'm wearing, so I don't forget while I'm thinking about it, is um, an Isabel Kramer. It's, I think it's called Dustin, and I can't remember the weight, but I'll put the link under here too. <gasps> Nan is watching. 
Nan, you weren't supposed to see that. I hope so. Nan is the mom of the baby that I'm making the blanket for. So I'm hoping she didn't see that, and I'm hoping they're home because today they were supposed to go home. Um, but any anyway, that's okay if she saw it. But um, all right, got distracted there. All right, um, so I showed the baby. Okay. Oh, and then I have one last thing. Oh, and I, I need y'all's opinion too. So I'm working on my sister's scarf for Christmas, and. I was just having a ball last night working on it. Y'all probably thinking you just mentioned three projects you worked on last night, and I did because I tried to. I just tried. To, I just spaced it out. I'm like, I'm gonna work on this until like till dinner. Then after dinner, I gotta work on this. I, I do. I work it out that way, especially on Monday night when I know I'm coming in because I always want to try to touch every project before I show you guys. But look at how long. I think I think I might have gone a little too far <laughs> with this one. Let's see. I, I like them long though, so I don't think so. But my problem is I did one more repeat when I was kind of questioning whether I should and I even weighed the yarn. And in fact, I should have stopped at the last repeat, but it's like, it's a bunch of rows. So I should have at that point um, put a lifeline in and I did not. So I'm in a predicament. I kind of thought I can just bind off and I'll, I'll be fine. But the pattern is such that, you know, it's got a pretty little edge there and it just I'm kind of going at an angle. So let me show you, the, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here, see, look how pretty as I'm buying, as I'm kind of slanting it, I don't want to just bind this off. That's going to be a wonky shape. So here is my dilemma. I think what I'm going to do, I think because it's such a gradual gradient, I don't want to just go to another color because it's going to be a stripe right so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I have this little leftover um, Surrey silk and I think I'm what I'm gonna do is because I only have let me show you well it's more than I thought I, I, I only have that much left so I think I'm gonna start um, by doing these together until I run out of this and then I'm gonna shift just to this because I think that would make it more of a gradual and just a little something something on the end there fuzziness that's my plan because I had I had some others and I'm like I could do this and that but it's just so gradual I don't want it to be having an abrupt <clears throat> you know um, switch and I thought if it was just gonna be a bind off which was my original thought I could just do a pop of color but it's not straight across so yeah so that's where I am gonna finish this one I'm so excited before Christmas actually I have technically until the 27th because I don't see my family until then. So I've bought myself a little time, which is awesome. All right, uh, that pattern is called Passerine, Passerine, Passerine. Um, and I've used the, oh, I wrote it down, the Fingering Weight um, Wonderland Blossom. It's like a cake um, and they're super fun. So I'll put the link up there for that too. Oh, let me put these back in here. And then I have, I think that's all my projects crazy and I'm cl so close yes my husband is asking about the train the train apparently is going through downtown if y'all can hear it. um I am so excited because I'm so close on so many to finishing it just makes me really happy so that's what happens when you have a lot of projects going at one time you have nothing 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 for a long time and then ba bam you got all these projects you can finish which is kind of exciting all right but I did want to show you I mentioned that I wasn't going to try to cast on anything before Christmas, anything new. That is not going to happen. Um, so we had some yarn come in today, and Caden said I could show you. It's not online yet. It should be tonight. So it is less traveled yarn, DK, with silk. Let me see what's the percentage. I think it's 15 10%, so 90% superwash, super fine merino, and 10% silk. They have 245 yards. So I'm gonna show you the colors, and then you can tell me which one, and this could be tricky, which one I'm gonna use on my project that I'm gonna probably cast on tonight. So this color is, oh Lord, uh, a Cerulean Tide. Cerulean. Thank you, Jennifer, Cerulean Tide. Okay, so that's one color. Uh oh, I think I have two of this one. This, no I don't, this is Huckleberry. 
y'all if you can feel it it is so soft so soft we have our favorite prickly pear again remember these are dk weights faster projects this one is mallard great green <laughs> marcia says i am a knitaholic i actually really like that term <laughs> she says i thought i was but no one comes close to you yeah i know i, I have a problem i have a problem all right uh sedona it's a great great orange oh eric thinks it's huckleberry or pick prickly pear okay this is equinox that's kind of cool earthy look at those down here it's kind of cool mallard is gorgeous i agree um, and this is gorgeous too. I think we have this in fingering. Forest floor. Oh. Okay. This one is a Merlot. Super pretty. And then this last one is Oxford. So we've had these in fingering, but now they're, well, it's a new yarn, a new base for them as well. And, um, and now we get to have it. So I'm super excited. Okay, so I, I see some of the people, huckleberry, prickly pear. Okay, so I'm going to show you. <clears throat> I have been eyeing this, this sweater for a long time, so I've been very patient. Um, it is called Papa. I think I might have shown it to you before. So it kind of has like graffiti for the color work, which to, it's just a, it's color work, and it's just um, different for me. So that's, I think, probably. Yes, Amy, you're correct. And Teresa. So you guys, yeah, you're right. It is Merlot. It is Merlot. Huckleberry, I see that's why I did this one first. They're, they're kind of close. This one's a little more berry. And then I have another color at home that I'm going to do for the color work. So this will be the main color. Mm. So yeah, so that's, I believe, and this is one size fits all. I guess I should do a gauge. Does it suggest? I'm sure it suggests, but I'm thinking I might not because it's a very oversized sweater. Look what could go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, <laughs> what could go wrong? Um, okay. So I, that was fun to show you that. I love to show you new yarns. All right. And then I wanted to show you this other um, game that we have. It's called Color Game. Can you see it? Okay. So I was I was instructed into looking on how this works. Madeline, would you hand me my phone right there? I meant to grab that. So how this works, I'll show you this card. So I guess you, they have these cards, let me show you. And, right, all different colors. And what you are supposed to do is try to figure out how to get to this color. So you have three colors. You have four of red, four of blue, and four of yellow, okay? And I'm going to show you this picture because it kind of explains it. So you have this little tool. Okay. You put your phone underneath with the light shining up. So this, I think this would be great for teenagers or kids that are like really into like science and stuff. So, and you put the phone like that. And then you put the little color screens underneath to obtain the color of the car you, card you drew. So it is really cool. I was playing with it a little bit today. They have, and they show you how, they show you the answers, you know, um, but it's really neat just with three colors. So it's called color game. So it's pretty cool. And they also have the, the wheel of the, the uh, pairing colors and stuff. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. I think that's pretty cool. I can see my son getting into that. Um, but anyway, so this weekend, got my daughter coming home from Italy. So I'm going to go pick her up at the airport. Got to get myself ready for that because she is going to be charged i think and she wants me to bring a dog we have three dogs right so she wants me to bring a dog and i don't think i don't think i'm up for that it's we have to go to um jacksonville and at some point i have to take the dog i don't know i just we'll see maybe maybe i'll surprise her but anyway so that's it please text us call us email us we have a new texting service it seems to be working really good and uh we'll ha we're happy to put some projects together for you um yeah and and check out our website fuzzygoatyarns.com and i will also put links underneath here so what happened to my hat oh <laughs> a very wise friend i had said i was going to do the muscle bird hat a very wise friend said 
stop <laughs> because you're not going to get it done by Christmas. So I didn't do it. I wasn't even sure if it would get worn because they don't live. But I have decided I have somebody that is because it was either socks or a hat, the muscle burk hat. And I think I might try a hand. <laughs> see what I did there? Hand on socks. See? Um, for a birthday that's in March. So that gives me a little breathing room. Because I, I, there really are some things I have to get done. Um, my sister's scarf, the baby blanket, some booties, and my sister's booties before then. I just, so I, I want to do the hat. I thought it'd be pretty cool, but I've got a lot of other things. George Ann calling me out. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys next week. I hope to have some new fun stuff to show you or at least some finished projects. All right, you guys take care. Have a good week.